we're going off to the um, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Center, which is a few hundred yards up the campus, because through Brady, I've got an opportunity to see an MRI machine. I've never seen one, and I really want to see how it works and actually see what it feels like to go inside one. This is the seven Tesla system, so it's the, it's the strongest human imaging system in the UK. One of the main inventors, Sir Peter Mansfield, worked here in Nottingham and won the 2003 Nobel Prize for Medicine, one of the few Nobel Prizes that has recently been won by a university in the UK. And so we're extremely proud of MRI as a technique that started in Nottingham and has gone all over the world. So, well, so Ashley's positioning Martin, so his head's inside the RF coil, the sensitive coil that detects the, the signal that we use to make the images. Also, I guess, making sure that he knows how to communicate with us in case he wants to get in, make, get in touch whilst he's being scanned. So. With most magnets, there's, there's no sensation at all. With a very strong one like this one, some people feel a little bit dizzy when they just go into the magnet, but it soon passes. So we push people in slowly to try and avoid the dizziness as much as possible. Okay, we're going to start. Yes, I'm ready to start. Okay, we're going to start. So what we do is we're looking at signals that come from hydrogen nuclei inside water molecules inside the patient, in this case Martin's brain. So each hydrogen nucleus, when we put someone into a very strong magnetic field like this system, the hydrogen nuclei tend to line up with the field. So this is like a hydrogen nuclear magnet, so we can imagine this is the North Pole, this is the South Pole. So normally, in, as we're sitting here, the nuclear magnets are kind of randomly aligned, all pointing in sort of different directions, but when we place someone into a strong magnetic field, the nuclear magnets tend to line up with the direction of the applied field, which actually, in this system, is horizontal, so I should probably have it that way around. Hi. Okay, I'm going to ask you now to move your head. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. The idea is that these, these nuclear magnets have a property that when they get disturbed from being lined up with the field, they tend to process around it. And the rate at which they go around depends on how strong the magnetic field is. So in this system, seven Tesla system, they go round at about a, at 300 million times per second, at 300 megahertz. That sort of frequency is in the radio wave region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And so there's an interaction naturally between the hydrogen nuclear magnets and radio waves. So the way we excite them and make them process is by firing a pulse of radio waves into, in this case, Martin's brain, and then we get back from the nuclear magnets a kind of echo of radio waves produced by that precession of the net nuclear magnetization. So what we do to make a picture is to make the magnetic field a little bit different in different places in the person's body. Then the frequency of precession is different and the frequency of the signal is different from different locations. So for example, if we make the magnetic field vary along 
the axis of someone's body, then we can say that a high field occurs at the top of the head, a low field at the bottom of the head. So when we see a high frequency signal, we know it came from the top of the head. When we see a low frequency signal, we know it came from the bottom of the head. And we can therefore assign the signal to position. Yeah, thank you. Get really still. It was great fun. But the noise is very loud. Yeah. But it's it stops very suddenly. Almost disappointment. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this and that. Did they keep Is still? Did, did they? Yeah, so how can you see the iron? if you're looking at the water. We can, we're sensitive to the presence of iron. And what are these sort of darker bits there? Here? Yeah. This is the grey matter here. Yes. We don't really associate it with you. I mean, it doesn't look like me, does it? Um, do you? So can you tell I'm left-handed by looking at that? Yeah. <laughs>